before we go, I'm going to spend some time talking with my favorite Key West artist, Ray Rolston. Ray, it is always a pleasure having you on the show. I'm so honored. <laughs> Ray, you are so loaded with talent, as our viewers can see behind us. These are paintings that you have created, and the paintings that I'm showcasing this morning, Ray, are your location paintings. Right, local uh, landmarks and mm -hmm. scenes that, yes. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. some popular spots right. around the island. And now, how did you choose some of these locations, Ray? Are well, they your favorite? Um, some of them are. Most of them are. But mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you just get, it just hits you. You mm -hmm. get inspired. Mm -hmm. And you go or you're writing, you see a, a building or something, and it kind of hits you. Mm -hmm. Photograph it, and there we go. And there you go. Uh -huh. And how long does it take you, Ray? Would you say, I'm sure that it varies with, with yes, each piece, uh -huh. but, you know, give me a little estimate of how long it takes you to create something. Well, um, depending, uh, the freehand part of the work mm -hmm. is very easy. Mm -hmm. Doing the people, the, the natural things like the trees and stuff, that's easy. Mm -hmm. But when it gets to doing the buildings, mm -hmm. with the diagonals and the horizontal lines and... Um, all these things come together to make it what it is, see? So, your perspective has to be correct. The horizontal lines has to be, they have to relate to each other. And if one is off, it throws everything else. So, mm -hmm. you got to be very meticulous when you're doing that. Mm -hmm. So, that would be the most difficult thing. Mm -hmm. So, normally if something, uh, a freehand, you know, like doing a person, if it would take like maybe an hour, mm -hmm. doing a building with the same amount of objectivity would take about a day. A day. Yes. Mm -hmm. A lot longer. A lot longer, mm -hmm. yeah. And what do you prefer, buildings or people? I like them both, actually, because especially in Key West, mm -hmm. these buildings, some of our homes, the doors and the way they're decorated, they got a kind of their own personality, mm -hmm. which is very, very, very nice. Oh, yeah. Yes. It, and you, you create that personality. It, it comes through. Yes, right. With mm -hmm. color and light and dark and shade and so forth. Mm -hmm. And also, the people. The characters that we have in Key are very, very colorful. Mm -hmm, they are. Yeah, aren't very, they? very so colorful. So it makes it fun for you. Yes, and it is. I know right uh -huh. now you're creating a piece where you're inserting some of your friends and some of your favorite people on the island. Right. Well, it's going to be a panoramic view of Duval Street, mm -hmm. which is probably one of the most famous streets in the world. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have about 50 different people in this painting, including my friends, including you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn Monroe, um, Tennessee Williams, a lot of the famous people mm -hmm. who are visitors or used to live here at one time or another, they're always going to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. that is it's so kind neat. of a work of love, you know. A um, work of love yes. that you're uh -huh. creating right now. Uh, yes. And uh -huh. Ray, one of the things that I find so fascinating about you that I'd like to touch on this morning, if it's okay with you, sure. is Ray, you were born with... Um, I don't know how I want to say it, it, a thing called a scar. Right, I was, right? I was born blind, out mm -hmm. of one eye. Mm -hmm. I was born with something called a scar, right? I never saw out of this eye, the right eye, mm -hmm. right? But at one time I could have tell whether it was night or day. But then I had brain surgery about three, three years ago, and after that I lost all sense. And, the light and the, actually the eye became extremely light sensitive. That's why now I have to wear a patch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, the left eye is good. Oh, yeah. And when you're painting with the help of like a magnifying glass and with the advent of the computers where you can actually put something on the computer and blow it up, I really don't have any problems anymore with it. It works just fine. That is so just amazing, fine, Ray, yes. that you've been able to create what you've created and you haven't done it with both eyes, just with one eye. And now, you said you had brain surgery yes, as well? Yes, subdural hematoma. Mm -hmm. You know, where uh, blood had backed up in the brain, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, if you have two and a half extra cups of blood in your head, it's, uh, it's serious, very, very serious. Right. So, um, I got that taken care of, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, that gave me a whole new perspective on life. Yeah? Yeah, when, when you're that close to death. Right. And you come back and you realize what happened and how close you were, all of a sudden, everything changes. Mm -hmm. You know? You kind of appreciate the finer things in life now. Your art means a whole lot more. Mm -hmm. You put a lot of attention to it, right? Mm -hmm. And really put a lot into it. So mm -hmm. it's totally different now. Right. Yes. Wow. So you have, would you say that you've created even more of your better work since the yes. surgery? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 
my friends always say that there's a big difference from the surgery to now. Really? Yes. Just in your personality, in your art, just overall and everything? Overall, or? overall. But especially mm -hmm. in the art because there's a huge difference now with the way I handle I always loved using color, but now I guess there's a difference. I, I don't see it, but my friends do. Your friends and do. My, People who collect my work, they do see the difference. Wow. Yes. Uh -huh. Well, I just see amazing, amazing work. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you again for showcasing your work with us. Well, the place is all mine. And Anytime. now, if people are interested in purchasing your work or finding more out about you, they can go to your website, correct? And the website, or Island Arts Gallery in mm -hmm. Duval Street, 1120 Duval, and the website. And I also go to Sunset Celebration. Mm -hmm. So, check Square. Out. Yeah, yes. check them mm -hmm. out there. Well, thank you so much for being with me this morning. Oh, the morning. pleasure's all mine. <laughs> all right, everybody. That's going to do it for us today, but I will be back Thursday morning at 8.30. So have a great day, everyone. Take care.